Blessed good love. Blessed good morning, family. Reaching in the name of the God of our ancestors. A quick tap in. Oh man. Snowing outside. Snow flurries. I thought it was spring. I was getting some flurries out here. I thought it was spring. I thought we were about to spring away from this weather, man. Are we getting some flurries? I pray that it don't stay. It's not gonna stay. But this is what's going on in my neck of, neck of the woods this blessed morning. I just want a, a quick tap in. I want to show you all this thing real quick. Pineapple. No, this is not pineapple juice. This is pineapple drink, right? I'm about to strain the, my pineapple. This is the pineapple, you see? It's almost smelling like wine. You see the white stuff there? It's fermenting, right? So this is actually, that's actually my pineapple. Let me keep it in the light. This is actually my pineapple. You know, when you peel the pineapple, this is the peel. I just want to show you all some. This is the, this is the pineapple peel, right? You see? This is the peel of the pineapple. So instead of throwing it away, you put it in a jug of water or a pot of water with some cloves, some pimento, and you soak it for a number of days. This, this been going, this been soaking, uh, let's say, nine or 10 days. Normally it's like seven days and you strain and you sweeten and you make your pineapple drink. But this say been going on nine to 10. I know it's past seven. It's going on nine days or 10 days. So this white stuff here now, as I show you, is fermenting. If I, if I leave this here for maybe say another 11 days, going into three weeks, we got wine, real, real wine, you know? So I'm gonna strain it. I don't know how I'll do it. But I'm gonna strain it. I shall have this a bigger strainer and strain it. Show you how you could get. When you peel your pineapple, you don't throw away the skin. You soak it. If you want drink, you could soak it for seven to nine days. If you want. Pineapple wine, you could soak it maybe 21 days to a month. Maybe a pineapple wine. Look, this is how we do it now. Look, this is how, oh shoot, this is how we do it right now. Look, see, I'm straining, straining it, straining it. This is 9 to 10 days of soaking the, the pineapple peel. See, strain it off. There is a clove there in the strainer. You strain, strain, strain. 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 Right? Boom. Strain it like that. And this, these, this is no good right now. Now you can get rid of this. Like if you had some farm animals, maybe pigs, goats, sheep, you could uh, throw it out there for them. So this how we, this how we do it right now. We put a little essence. We yeah, just we flavoring it up. We flavor, we're flavoring it up. Here we go, man. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I'm just trying to show you how we do this here. All right. So we do this. My essence, or they call vanilla. I got it in almond, different flavor. So I do like this, I just put. Hey, 
Well, what's going on? Alright. Let's put a little essence in there. Like this. And then I like I love I, if I'm gonna use sugar it's gonna be brown sugar. And we put sugar there like that. Excuse me, sorry. Spoon. And it's that star. The star. The star. I keep starting it. Just to, to the level of sweetness. You want it. So you stir and taste. Stir and taste. Once you get it to that sweetness, that's your pineapple drink. Like I say, you could you could soak the skin for maybe two weeks. No, about three weeks, 21 days or more. And it will really ferment into pineapple wine. You know? So I'm, I'm giving you all game. I'm dropping nuggets and diamonds at your feet, you know. So you have different enough other fruits you could do like that and make your drink. So the fruit peeling you don't peel, but pineapple it's, it makes you a nice drink. Especially if you me if you making it yourself, you know. Especially if you just just taste it. But it still needed a little more sugar. So I add it. This is a fine thing. You know when while when soaking it, like I said, when soaking you just put in your arm. Um, if you're going to use bottled water or boiled water, all the pineapple peel, you put in a jug, a pot, a, a basin, whatever. And you could get some cloves. If you got have some cinnamon sticks, you could drop in there, not a lot. And if you have, if you know what's pimento, you could drop a few in there as well and let it soak. Third, fourth day, you could check it out. If you feel like sweetening it, you see, I wanted mine a little stronger. Like I said, I could have leave this here for another 12, 11 days or so and get it to three weeks. Would have been fire. You know? Make your own wine. Make your own wine. It's coming along. All I'm doing here now is stirring it and sweetening it to my taste. And when I'm finished here, I'll strain it one more time. Wash out, wash out the jug here. Get rid of this peel. I'm gonna strain this here one more time over into here and put it in the refrigerator. And let it chill. And you could sip it straight like that. Or you could add your little additives, you know, and, <laughs> and do your thing. So that's what I wanted to share at the present moment. Just showing you how I'm sweetening my pineapple drink. All right. I'm going to stop the video right now because, like I said, it's finished. It's finished. Right. So after this, I'm going to use the same strainer here and wash this out, strain it back into here and put it in the fridge. So that's my inspirational teaching for this morning with the pineapple. Have a blessed one family. See you in the next one. Hold your head up. Shout out to the new subscribers. We're getting there. You know? We're on a mission. 10,000 subscribers. The first step we're going to start with is 1,000. Each one reach one, teach one. I'm here to support, be of support for you. And I'm also here looking for support from you. Have a blessed one, family. With their pump patrol, with their pump watch, Africa's vanguard. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Few moments later.